This is crazy. I had the opportunity to talk to someone live on my podcast yesterday who was friends with Stefan Stearns, the guy who committed the disappearance and homicide of 13-year-old Madeline Soto. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you this live interview right now. But before I do, quick summary. Madeline Soto was a 13-year-old girl who went missing Monday, February 26th, and then later found deceased. And now police arrested Stephens in connection with her disappearance and her death. Now, I don't wanna get into depth and details of this story. I already have it posted on my YouTube channel of the entire case, full length, broken down for you to better understand the story if you're brand new. All right, now let's go jump into that interview. But before I do, please hit the like button, comment below, hit the share button, and hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. That means so much to me. That'll let you know when's the next time I'll go live to talk about true crime here on Novesity. All right, now let's go watch that interview. Okay, let's do it. All right, all right, everyone. So right here, we're gonna call somebody who they they said that they know Stefan and uh, we're doing this live. Um, we're going to give him an interview, see what he has to say, and hopefully we get some key details on understanding this individual. Now, you guys know about me. I'm very about, I'm about facts, but I'm about detail. Detail is what matters because we, we are able to narrow down these context clues to better understand the story. I mean, I want to understand his motive most all. He doesn't seem that much of a complex person because he sold this shit, honestly. Hello? Hey, can I get your name? Where you calling from? Uh, my name is... Yeah, I'm told two hands, and uh, my name's Frank. Your name is Frank. All right, Frank. My name is Noel. Thank you so much for wanting to uh, to wanting to be a part of this. I appreciate this. I'm not sure if you know who I am. My name is Noel. I do a podcast on YouTube and Facebook, and I talk about true crime and try to find proper justice and talk about you know serious matters, uh, petty crime, big crime. In this case, we're talking about Maddie Soto, who who was sadly taken away by yeah. Stefan, and this is a terrible, terrible shame. But um. So, all right, um, yeah, all right, so you have the floor. You wish to, you know, say anything about this you case? Me, you can ask me the questions. What do you want to know, like? Okay, you know, what is your rapport I mean, I know with, with like, Stefan? Uh, I mean, I've known him for like three years. I started playing a tabletop war game with him called Warhammer 40K. It was like a hobby that I wanted to try. And, you know, he was there, and I clicked with him right away. You know, he smoked pot, so it was someone I could smoke a joint with and, you know, play some games and pass the time by make some new friends and stuff like that. Never would in a day in my life would I think Stefan would have been capable of something like this. The Stefan that is in this story is not the Stefan I knew at all. Like at all. This caught me by surprise. I just found out about this uh, yesterday. I was just deciding, oh, instead of watching some shorts or some reels, let me just read some news real quick. And then all of a sudden I started going through local news and boom, there he is, mugshot, freaking little girl next to him. I'm like, what the hell? Funny thing is, they're saying they're a couple. They've been broken up for like a year and a half. So Stefan moved there, back over there like two years ago. Because um, they had broken up previously, so he moved back into his parents' house. So he just moved back in there two years ago. Within like six months, they were broken up. And he was living just, I guess, in a guest room or something like that. So he just recently came back uh, to, you know, Charlotte County. So within the past, I don't know, give or, give or take a day, three to four months. So that's when he just recently got back. He definitely wanted to go back there. Like I hung out with him the weekend before this all transpired. Like I didn't even know this happened. So we all went out, you know, uh, and, and hung out. I've introduced him to a couple of my friends. Even my friends liked him. They thought he was a normal guy. Like, he didn't give off those type of vibes at all. Like, and I had him in my house around my family, which is driving me insane. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, so, like, he would give me free stuff all the time, like, to play these tabletop guard games. And I have two kids, and I'm wondering if he was trying to groom me. So maybe one day I'd be like, hey, I'm going to step out and go grab something from the store and watch the kids for me or something. Like, that's how I feel every, like, for the past two days now. So... It's like that car wasn't his, that wasn't even his car. That was his dad's car, which is really crazy. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That silver car was his father's car? Yeah, that Lincoln NKZ is not his car. I can't remember what what kind of car he did have because it's been two years <clears throat> since I saw him 
with that car. That's the car he left with two gens. When he came back, he was driving that Lincoln MKZ for the past three, four months. I didn't even know he was driving it till one day he just rolled up in it. That's okay. That's interesting. Hold, hold on. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask some questions and thank you again for being here. I, I really do appreciate it. Frank. Yeah. Um, you, how, how long you were friends with him? Oh, I would say at least three years now. And you said you made him, th- you met him through tabletop. What was it again? Sorry. Yeah. Like tabletop. It's like a cool Warhammer 40 K. It's a tabletop board game. Okay. And he never mentioned his activities or what he do, what he likes. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But like now that I look back, <clears throat> like he did say two things that kind of stuck out to me before this happened. One, he said he was in contact with Madeline. Like he felt bad that um, him and Jen broke up because he had built such a strong bond with Madeline. Okay. And he kind of wanted, he gave the vibe that he was going to go visit. He was supposed to visit the weekend that we went out to uh, this place called Dean's. We went to go see some music, you know, hang out and have some fun. And so like, that's a, he wanted to, he said he was going back to visit, which was like, why would you go back to visit if you were leaving because you guys had broken up your relationship, him and Jen. So it like, it just didn't make sense, you know, and him staying there, even why they were broken up didn't make sense to me either. But now it all makes sense. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sticking around there. He, even though they were breaking up, he wanted to go back to the house. Yeah. He would, they were, he had already moved back to his parents and he wanted to go back for some reason. He said he was going to go for, to visit the, uh, to just go visit. He said he was going to kiss me. I was like, why didn't he go kiss me? Him and Jenna broken up. They've been broken up for at least a year and a half. He was just living there during the year, the, year and a half they were only together for six months out of that two years oh so when she goes oh my boyfriend no it's it that's i don't know why she's saying that because from what i know from what stefan has told me multiple times that they were broken up Hold on. Okay, wait a minute. This is crazy. I'm trying to write this down in my notes. Okay, so he 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 told you this information? Yeah, he he told me. Yeah, like because he told me they broke up. He even quit Disney around the time that he moved back because he had to move back. Let me ask you a question. Right. Let me ask you a question. He, I, w- I want to debunk this because you know, did he actually work at Disney? Yeah, he 100 percent worked at Disney. He worked at the Figment ride. In Epcot, not like the figment with the dragon and the paint and the smells. It's like a different figment one. I don't really remember the beginning of the name, but I know it has the, the name figment in it. Hold on, Disney. What is it called? It's some something figment ride because it is two different types of figment rides though. So there's like a really small kids like figment ride where it takes you like through like all these like the, your you know your five senses kind of. But he worked at the other one, and I oh. forget what the other one. Okay, I I, th- I think but I know. He did you're... work in Epcot. So he worked where? He did work in Epcot. That's where he was. That's where he was stationed, and he handled the rides. And I know he definitely worked there because Stefan smoked pot, and he, uh, he. I remember we talked to him on. I asked him if he was still smoking, and he said no. So when he came, had moved back, and we smoked the joint. I mean, he got obliterated off like two hits. So he definitely worked there because. Stefan wouldn't just stop smoking pot. You know what I mean? He was a daily, like a daily pot smoker, just like I am. So that's what, that's what connected us because he played tabletop games and smoked weed. And I was like, oh, cool. I can, you know, chill out and hang out and, and just, you know, hang out with somebody. You know what I mean? Right, right. Okay, so... Okay, no, um, that, that, that's that, not the ride though. That's the little kid. That's the little kid version. The pigment. There's a different figment one supposedly in Epcot. I saw somebody else say it, so uh, on like a comment section, but I forget exactly where. Wait, are you talking about Journey in the Imagination? That one? No, no, not Journey in the Ima- into the Imagination. No, that's the one that takes you to the five through the five senses. Okay, somebody in the comments is gonna definitely. Say it. Okay. Let, uh, let, me, uh, let me ask you a question. 
So yeah, he had this job. Now, did his did did uh did did Jen work there also? Well, supposedly she does. I don't really. I only spoke to Jen like once or twice, and that was only when uh, Stefan was on FaceTime with her, uh, like during the one of the times we were playing Warhammer or something over my house. Okay. Like I've only seen her that way. I've never met her in person. But I know she takes a lot of medication for stuff. That I know for sure. I can't tell you what for, what kind, that I, I can't tell you. But, you know. But Stefan also, he's a big Adderall head. You know, like, I've never seen him eat one time that he's come over my house. Like, and I would, I cook all the time. Or we get pizza, and he he wouldn't even touch a bite. I've only seen him one time eat like two slices of pizza the whole time I've ever known him for three years. So you met Jen no, on Facetime. On Facetime, okay. You met Jen yeah. on 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 Facetime, okay. Yeah. And your time meeting her was there anything off? Anything at all? It was just normal to you. Everything is fine. No, she. Yeah, she she was nice. Yeah, she didn't seem. She didn't seem how like she was in those videos. Right. And you, sure. you met Madeline, right? No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Okay. I've, I've never met Jen personally. I've never met Madeline. Okay. No. I've only heard Stefan talk about her. About Madeline? Yeah, yeah. I've only heard Stefan. That's like what was the big, his, like, it seemed like screw the breakup, you know. Uh, you know, he was more upset about ruining a bond that he created with Madeline. Did he did he ever mention to you about any any sp specific activities he in or anything about? Uh, no, you ever no, held conversations about women? Okay, so that's what I would say. When we were at Dean's, this this is another thing that stuck out to me. This cougar came and hit on him, and she definitely was was digging Stefan for sure. And I was like, "Yo, dude, you know, like you probably should go hop in that." And he was like, basically, was just like, no, not really interested. And I, that that kind of was like, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, I don't, I don't understand. What, not interested in what? So, I guess it, she was just too old for him, obviously. Mm. So that's kind of, I can see why you were saying that. What, what was weird about that? Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Now that I look about like this happening, yeah. But it was just still weird to me how, you know, she wasn't a bad looking person. He was just single, he said. So why, you know, why would you take a chance at that? Mm. So you said you knew him for two plus years, right? Uh, yeah, like roughly three years, give or take. Like, okay. you know, maybe a month or two. Have you ever met anybody within his family besides Jen? Yeah, I've met his dad. I've met his dad and mom one time. Nobody was really allowed to be at his house. So really, I met them one time and uh, I don't know, his dad just seemed, he was like, you know, he seemed like just quiet, but his mom bred poodles. So their house was packed full of like show dogs, pure, pure bred, I don't know, A1 dogs. Mm. When this happened, when the news broke about where Madeline and everything Around that time, did he ever contact you? No, that's what I'm saying. I haven't heard from Stefan. Huh. If I had, I could probably go on my Facebook and look at the day because I remember I messaged one of my friends, but I haven't heard from them since we went to uh, Dean's on that uh, on that Saturday, like that Saturday. That was it. That was the last time I heard from him. Actually, no, the last time I heard from him was that that next morning, and I asked him how he felt. You know, did you get home every? You know, get home safe, things like that, and. uh he said, yeah, I'm just hungry. I'm going to get pizza. I haven't heard from him ever since after that. And then, Yesterday was the first time I tried calling, and his phone was obviously off, because, and I just had found that uh, news article yesterday. Right. And then you text him. This is the text message you sent. I'm going to show that on the screen, okay? I don't give a crap. So this is the text message you sent to him, and then you said, Stefan, what the f did you do? My my God, man! You were around my effing kids. Yeah, there's more more to that too. You know, 
I basically said, you know, man, I, I love you, but you know, I'll just, I'm just going to have to pray for you at this point. That's about it. Like I can't, there ain't nothing I can do for you. You know, you're already dead. You know, if I would have known these things about him, get, he, there would have, you know, even the people, the groups that we were in with Warhammer and stuff, like, they are, like, beyond shocked. Everyone is so disgusted. Like, this guy was in people's houses. Like, you would have never expected this. Like, to me, Stefan was just a, a good person, it seemed like, and, like, just a very giving person and a, an honest guy. Like, I would have, this is boggling my mind. Holy shit, I'm so surprised right now. Let me ask you something personal, and I, I'm not sure if you answered this. You, I mean, you said this. Have you left him alone with your kids? Respectfully, I'm asking. No, absolutely not. No, I mean, I have, I, I just don't, I don't do that. There's really nothing I gotta go run to the store for. I have a wife, so you know, mostly I can just say, hey, babe, we'll pick something up. You can pick something up while you're out for me, you know, something like that. But no, no, I mean, even when I would go outside, Stefan would follow me right away. Like if I went out to smoke, Stefan was like right there. Oh, I'll come hang out. You know, he's no, 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 no. Mm. My kid, I have two boys anyway, so I don't know, you know, if that's his, if that's his thing. But as it looks like right now, you had one person saying he was dating some fourteen-year-old at one point, and I'm pretty sure he likes young girls. You know, so, but I mean, I, I don't know. I, either way, you know, it may be. I don't know, but no. So you're you're telling me that he hid this so well, like you didn't even know, right? No, dude, and no one would have expected this. Right, right, right. right. No, I would never. I would. Right I would have never thought of this in my life. He never gave me those vibes at all. You know, right? Like, that's my, yeah. That's that's crazy. I mean, he the, the guy hid it well. He he. He hit it so well, but you did say something that did spark my interest of how he was so interested in going back to the house even after they broke up. Yeah, he wanted to go back and visit. It was like he was back for like, I feel like what, like maybe three months? And he was like, hey, I'm going to go back to visit. And I was like, what? The, for what? I guess I, I guess to, you know, cover his tracks. I really don't know. You know, I don't know now. I don't know what he was thinking in his head. Right. Um, after all this was said about you finding yeah. out that this happened to Stefan, I see that you texted yeah. and everything. Was you ever contacted by the police in any way? No, I tried calling, kiss me. I tried calling, um, uh, last night I called, uh, I don't know how to, was it? Osa, yeah, Osa, 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 I don't know how to really say it, so mm -hmm. I'm going to butcher that. And, um, so they connected me with kiss me and, they called me and then they said they were going to put me in contact with the, uh, uh, I guess the lead, you know, the lead on that. And I called like three times today, left a voicemail. And mm -hmm. so I'll just, I'll wait for a call back because this whole, like them being in a relationship thing doesn't even make sense. Like that's the part where you're confused so, about because he, he left, but he kept on wanting to, to be tangible to this yeah. house. Yeah. Oh yeah. He want, he, he wanted to go back for sure. For sure. I mean, he left to go on a trip out of nowhere. He didn't even tell me. Like, usually he would be like, oh, hey, I'm going to kiss me or something like that. Like, he didn't even say nothing to me. So there must have been something going on that he needed to take care of ASAP, obviously. Did he ever, like, was weird about around your kids in any way? Did he do no, anything you don't remember? No, wait, no, dude. He never, never. Right, right. I would lose my shit. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Trust me. I, I believe I that. <laughs> Trust me. I believe it. I believe yeah, it. Yeah, no, I would lose my mind. No way. I, 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 as a uh, kid got messed with, no, you know, nothing as bad, you know, nothing sexual, but, you know, touching happened. I would lose my mind. I don't tolerate that kind of nonsense. No way. That's disgusting behavior. And it's not welcome anywhere near around me, near anything. No way. This is, nope. Well said, well said, well said. Um, after hearing about this case. Yeah. Does this make you, I'm going to ask you something personal. Does it make you fearful about, you know, having men? Oh, I'm never going to, I'm never going to be friends with anyone ever again. This has totally ruined my chances of ever trying to meet new people and be friends with them ever again. Right, right, right. Absolutely. No way. I, I, yeah, no, this is, it's totally messed me up in the head. 
Yeah, I'm really sorry that you know this. This was rooted around you because you were friends with him for this. While. I'm actually surprised. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how long you've been in the chat for, but um, there were you know stories that in the past he did connect with younger children. Actually, successfully, 14 year old, you know, what have you, what have you. Yeah, yeah, that I know too. Also, you mean, um, you know, now it's looking like I don't know. It's uh, I saw one paper online. I mean, I don't know how pr pr I'll, I'll, I could uh, uh, send you the document. If I could find it, I think I left the group because the group got a little crazy on Facebook, but it showed that the uh, kind of charge is uh, categorized with the letter F. Supposedly, that means the person, the victim was uh, unconscious when happening. So I know for if that's true. I know for a fact, Stefan had prescription for Ativan and prescription for Lunesta. So I don't know if he made some secret, you know, potion X and things went wrong too. That's what's in the back of mind. That's like a, what do you call it? It's just like a, you know, a theory in the back of my head right now. That's strong. Because with I you. remember him. Yeah. And I remember him distinctly talking about Lunesta maybe a week before we had actually went to Dean, so maybe two, three weeks ago. I don't know, around you know, maybe four weeks ago. Who knows? But I remember him saying, talking about that sleeping medicine. That's actually it was good. That's... It was really strong, and that it's one. It, it's safe. That's actually insane. Yeah. yeah. So now, when it shows that that yeah, that the charge is category uh, um, a letter F, and um, yeah she was unconscious during the thing happening that kind of like clicks in my head a little bit like whoa let me ask you a question do you know any of his friends anybody anybody that's close to him no i've never i've never even heard i've ever heard of stefan even talking about friends the only people that i knew that he knew were the other warhammer people that i met when i met him did did he ever cheer with them also or anything what ever do what? Did he ever chill with them, hang out with them, any of anything in that? Manner? I mean, only only when, only when uh, I mean, when we played Warhammer, Frank, well, that was it. I Frank, mean, I would appreciate it if you if I'm just trying to do good to this case. In if I would heavily appreciate it if you can speak to any of the additional friends that if like, you know when you play Warhammer with him, with other people if they ever spoke to him, they could remain anonymous I mean, now. I they can remain anonymous, by the way. I have the tools to do that. I could, I could change their voice. Yeah. I could change anything. If, if, if they could come to me, come forth and tell me if anything, if you can talk to them, I, you know, I got your number. I mean, a lot of those, a lot of those guys, you got to remember, a lot of people that play those games aren't as, uh, you know, good with social Stuff. Okay. Okay. You know, they're a lot. You know, a lot more nerdy of a group and things like that. Right. 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 You know, a couple of them heard me in the video and were like, "Oh, I never would have been able to do that. I would have been nervous." But I could care less about about Stefan at this point because I feel so taken advantage of. Like you know that mm -hmm. like, you know because I have kids, so yeah, I feel a certain type exactly. of way about exactly. situation right now. Yeah, it just blows you know, my mind. Um, was it even a friendship? You know what I mean. <laughs> mm, mm. All right, right, right. I think I see what you're saying. You know, um, yeah, I, I was really... just using me to try to get something he wants. You know, again, I'm, I'm gonna say this, no disrespect, but that's a possibility, brother. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, it... yeah, I, I know it is. It's keeping me up. It's like, did I put my kids in danger? You know, you're really blessed that's because like your the children first thing are the father that I don't want. You know what this sounds like to me? You know what this sounds like? It's uh, and I'm going, I'm. And my, my theories and speculations are strong. I'm going to be honest with you. This sounds like you're a father who was active in his child's life that he couldn't actually, uh, he couldn't succeed. So he went for a single woman with a child. Yeah, possibly. Who knows? Who knows what's going on in that sick mind of his? This is interesting. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for, for coming on, and I, I appreciate you. I, I'm gonna, I mean, I would have more questions for you possibly tomorrow or the following day, like one of the days, if, if it's possible. I would love to shoot you a text and just for like a five minute conversation, if that's okay. Yeah, you're good, man. Yeah. Because like, you, you, you're, totally you're doing great for this case, and I, I appreciate you coming forward, Frank. 
Yeah, no worries, man. Hey, uh, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Again, I'm going to ask the chat for questions and then they'll, I'll, I'll, I'll get to you for sure. Okay. Yeah, you got it, man. And please, you're a, you sound like a wonderful father, man. And I'm proud to have someone like you that, you know, who, who doesn't play that game and protects kids. Cause I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I relate to that heavily, man. And thank you for being such a good stand up guy for real, man. Bless you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. You too. Have a good night. You too now. Bye-bye. Okay, it looks like that guy had a lot of details on Stefan. I told you that interview was crazy, but don't worry, guys. I'm not going to give up on the story. We're going to still continue to talk about Madeline Soto and more other cases here in Novesity. Now, if you like true crime, hit the like, share, subscribe button. I would appreciate that. That means a lot to everyone here in Novesity. More true crime coming at you. Like I always say, do good, die great. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.